Hello, bits and bit fans. My name is Don Mike, and welcome to a new Don Mike VR play called L.A. and Nora, the VR case file for the PC. Oh, for well, actually, for Steam VR and also um, Oculus CV1. As if was. I mean, I really don't pay attention to the internet crap sometimes with the um, with the games that was released. As long as it was released for the ones that I own. I can care more about that, but I can care less about the other ones. But I feel sorry for people who do not own an Oculus CV1. Same thing with me, so I'm, I'm kind of joining in with you. But at least I got this instead. So, um, today this is going to be my new Dharma VR play that I'm going to be doing. But, as of right now, I just want to make sure... And also, I just do want to say is Merry Christmas to everyone out there who actually is... Um, Celebrating Christmas and also if you're watching this video feel free to hit that like button and also feel free to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel of course, but today I'm gonna be doing this and also I'm gonna be repeating certain things cuz um, I mean repeating certain missions There's a reason why and I know what I'm going to be doing is wrong But I'm just gonna say words fuck it and I'm gonna do it so and it is up to you to care or not But that's really up to you. So anyway, let me just Follow the directions. All right, now grab that. Grab a revolver. Let me kind of back this up again. Give me one second. There we go. Okay. And all right. So now, anyway, da, 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 da. so we'll start this new. Now you probably see me do my hand-eye coordination with the hands and shit, just reenacting certain scenes and whatnot. But that's all. That's all I just wanted to say. And I'm going to be talking about this very soon, so I'm going to stay caught during the cutscenes. Just whenever the cutscene starts. I think it's... Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that, Mom. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps! Yeah, <laughs> Like I said, certain scenes I'm going to be doing. Oh, lordy. Yeah, I mean, there we go. Alright, cry back, play. Oh! <laughs> There's a funny thing about this game that I'm trying to really understand. Alright, so the way you run, you're doing this now. It feels like I'm skating when you run. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's literally weird. But, uh, what the fuck? Alright, it's not fun. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Alright. See? It's just the way he runs. Which I don't get it. Alright, so the next one is a highlight movement. Okay. And. Alright, he's running a little bit better. Now it's the final walking mode. Alright, the final mode is walking. Alright, hold down. Try patent. Walking. Try it. Yeah, see, you get it? It's like, it feels like I'm skating. Oh shit, I'm running. Don't make me chase you! Wow, he would've got his ass caught. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. I wish I could take the hat off. Whoa! His ass is about to swing. <laughs> you sit. Alright, there you go. I, got, I have no idea. Okay. You can also slap. <laughs> yeah, that's my pimp hand. I'm going to slap the nigga. Yeah, this is, you got to keep this pimp hand strong. This is the pimp hand that you want. You can go like that or that, which I'm going to do. And also by blocking raising your arm, you can just do this and just go. Ugh, ugh. It don't. It don't really matter. And ducking and dodging, I really don't do none of that crap because of my back. Uh, I pulled a thing called trapeze. Yeah. Um. One of my shirts got stuck. It was a suit jacket thing, and it got stuck, and I, and I couldn't take it off. So the only way to be able to take it off is just I had to bend my back forward. I mean back. I mean, you know. And I finally ripped it. Come on then, pretty boy. 
Ooh. Bitch, what the fuck up? Oh, I can block too. Wake the fuck up, fool! Yeah. I'm a pimp, nigga! Fuck wrong with you! I'm the pimp smack! I'm a pimp smack your ass! I'm a pimp master, nigga! Don't fuck with me! Get the bullshit ass out of here! Shut up! Don't fuck with me, I'll pimp slap you to death! Bitch! How you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Damn straight I did. Alright. Now this one... Is the arm and dangerous? That's the next one I'm going to be doing, and this is the one I'm going to repeat over again. And I got and I got a good explanation why. So, just give me a minute when it shows up, of course. All right. It's only a couple. Yeah, a couple blocks from here. All right. So, let me uh grab my chair real quick. Now, there's gonna be certain scenes where you probably might see me just talk throughout the whole entire time. And who the fuck is this? Yeah, okay. And speaking of that, let me yeah turn that down so just in case. All right. And also let me no oh, screw that. There's no point turning it off. Oh, man, that's, that's gay. Alright, cool. So, let me scoot up. <sighs> now, give me one second to turn it up. Grab the steam wheel. Alright. Get the gin gauge. 14 to Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. All right. <gasps> oh, fuck yeah. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Oh, oh. There we go. We got this, bro. We got this. Trust me, I'm a really good driver. When it comes to this, I'm a really an excellent driver when it comes to come to this game. So I mean Come on, there we go. Alright, hold on buddy. I'd rather make a turn. Alright, good. Now I'm gonna have to pause that because by the time I get up, it's gonna automatically transfer me still sitting. Uh, it will automatically transfer me sitting, uh, standing up, and I'll kind of miss up some of that part of the cutscene. And now, when it comes to this game, oh god! Now, when it comes to this game, this scene right here. Now let me explain just a little bit. Okay, what time is it? It's only ten. All right, good. All right. So, say for example. Alright, you come to a certain scene that you enjoy so much. Now, from the Xbox version, which I wish they should have made that game yet, they should have made it to this one. This, this one, this, this Eleonora should have been the first one they ever released on the Steam VR itself, and then release it on the Xbox. You feel me? Like on the Xbox 360 and all that crap. Because when it first released on the Xbox 360, 
Oh my god, I fell in love with it. And I was a man. One day, I hope it comes to a virtual reality thing where they literally make a headset where you actually feel like you're in first person view and all that god knows what. And then all suddenly, when they made the Xbox, I was sitting there thinking like, holy crap, the game's about to come out. And this is a good Christmas present, by the way. And so when I bought this, oh my god, I fell in love with it. <laughs> because this scene right here, the um the shooting, the bank robbery thing, this is why. Because, um... Because, see, you're not going to be able, probably might never, I mean, you probably might, won't be able to get to see this scene again until way later on. And maybe or maybe not. So this is why I redo the scene over and over again. Is because, say for example, you're, this is your favorite scene, right? And so you play it over and over again until, you know, you get done of it or you just say the words, fuck it, go to the next scene. But how short this game is, that's why I just want to make the most of it and just... You know, play it as slow as I can and just have the most fun of it before I actually beat the game and all that. So that's why I'm playing the game on, uh, that's why I'm playing the game in a slow pace and also redoing certain scenes over again because I don't know when I'm going to be able to redo it again. You know what I'm saying? Or re, because I know, I think in a different scene, I know in the LA Nora one, the uh, Xbox version, you get to do a lot of shooting and shit, but in this one, you don't. He's more like hitting, uh, looking around, and all that god knows what. So I'm just letting you know. Make it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. See, stupid ass. Why the fuck you walk that way? Retard. Alright. Let's go. So the way my shooting is, you know what I mean? Is the way my shooting is. I'm kind of good at it, depending on how it is. Yeah, see? Just like that. One. It depends on how my accuracy is. Two. Alright, got you. Take it slow. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance to. I got him. Got him. Got him. Stay down. I got him. Dead. Fuck. Got him. One more. That's it. We got them all. I think we got them. I had to. Well, you don't have to. I don't know why I did it, but I did it for a reason. So I know why. You're probably saying, "Why the fuck did you do it, man?" I mean, you're just restarting the whole entire scene again. It's just this scene because, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the n another shooting scene again. I do not know. So, in VR, I got to get the most of it because VR is real fun because you're more acting. You're more active when you're in VR, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> it's just, that's why I said I love doing VR. Because I get to enjoy the most out of it. Alright, let's go. And I love to get to do the cop scene shit. There we go. I don't know why he should have went down. My accuracy... My accuracy's alright. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to certain shooting games, my accuracy's on point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I hardly miss. Use the cover, we don't know how many are in there. There's seven total. Backup will be here soon. Yeah, that's exactly what LAPD, you say. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. Got him. I'm offering you a chance to... Let me back the hell up. Kill a cop, and it's the electric... Ooh. Whoa. Alright. 
Oh, don't worry, nigga. Oh, I can't see from there. Damn. Stay down. I'm gonna run back. Holy shit, man. Whoa. Alright, let me refix that again. I'm trying to get into a good scene where I can see things. Alright. Now. Alright, I'm in a perfect. Now I'm in a perfect spot. Where you at? Got him. Fuck. I got him. Last one. The fuck? Oh. Man, why am I getting so fucking close to things? Pop out, bitch! I got you! I'm gonna put it Told you, I got you. I got him, I got him, I got him! Why did I shoot? What the fuck, you dumbass? Woo! I got him! Yep. All right. Now, one more time, let's get this game completely done out and over with. Wow, I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing, a lot of editing. Yeah, which is cool with me. Very cool. See, look at look at his ass. Look at Dunn. What's it? Why the fuck? Why go the opposite way? You know. All right. What the fuck? Grab the gun, dumbass. Oh, stupid. There we go. Where you at? On the ground now, because I want to be real with this. Try for the front door, keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover. What the fuck? We don't know how many. All right, take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance to. Got him. What the fuck? Uh... No, that's not it. That's not it. Fuck it, I don't care. Alright, there we go. I got him! Stay down. Got him. Drop that digger. That's it. We got him all. <sighs> all right, one more. Just get to the hell out of the way. Okay. We're in a good position. Alright, let's leave it be. Jesus Christ. Mm. 
See, I don't know why dumbass has to be dumb. Alright. I just want to make sure before I start. Out of no dumb retarded way. Ooh! Your head was right there, buddy. Pop out! Told you. Don't fuck with me. My aim's on point. I'm trying. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance to. All right. How long do you think you can hold out? We don't know how many are in there. I got him. Take it slow. Back up over here soon. I got you. Pop out. Told you. Damn, too much. Give me some cover. All right. Oh, what the fuck? Gotcha. Gotcha. Stay in cover. Gotcha. That's it. Gotcha. We got them all. I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Gotcha. All right, one more time. One more. So I told you my aim was on point. I went ba ba ba. Got the ass. Oh yeah, I can do it one more time. Watch, 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 watch. He's right there. He's covered. So, I don't know why dumbass has to go that way. Motherfucker. Pop out! Gotcha. Weapons on the ground now. Got gotcha. you. Man, I don't have to keep my head down because I know how to shoot, nigga. LAPD, put down your we don't know Got him. Take it slow. Back up the soon. Jesus. Stay down. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Shit. Kill a cop. Gotcha. Electric chair. Gotcha. Gotcha. One more nigga. That's it. Got him. We got him all? Yeah. I think we got him, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either gonna end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Told you, man, my accuracy was on point, bro. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> man. You get, man, you got to trust me, bro, man. Because when I say my accuracy is on point, my accuracy is on fucking point. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective and ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. It is 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Now let me get this again. This awesome chair of mine. 
Let me get in a good position where I can sit down. Got the wiring. I had to put the wires to between my shirt, so yeah. All right, let me make sure I'm in a good seated position. Okay. All right, and who's dumbass? Oh. Um. All right, buddy. Are you ready? Let's go. So tell me. How long you been on duty? Like, for how long? 20 years? Maybe less than that, 15? I know. I think sometimes that, you know, just me and you, we actually do, do good things in this life. Come on. I mean, I know what I can do. I can literally just turn on the siren, but... And we can go fast as hell, but there's no point. You know what I'm saying? There's no point. I just want to, um, you know, get there safely. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we can cause a wreck. If this fucking asshole will go. Come on, asshole! Shit. Fucking dumbass. I don't know why people has to drive. If they can't fucking drive right. I mean, you look at me. What you, what, you, what you see in me? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm a good driver. I know how to fucking drive. You know what I'm saying? But we got stupid ass people like this. That have no earthly idea what the fuck they're doing. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, people these days. They just don't know how to fucking drive. Go. Okay. I mean, just the way. Just the way. You know, how I do things. It's just, you know, it comes to show that you're doing the right things for right people. You know, no matter how bad they are, no matter how good they are, you know, you're actually doing the right things in life. So, it just shows me, you know what I mean? Like, I do a lot of good things for people, but, you know, sometimes I don't ask for things right back. And that's the thing. I ask, I, I ask for a lot of things. But when it comes to returns, you know, I don't ask for a lot. So, I mean. <sighs> so. I know, you, I know you want to ask me some questions about, you know, the way I draw and the way I do things with my own life. Do you think I made the best decision made with my own wife? I think sometimes when I go back and rethink about it, I think I didn't make the right decision. You know? I think sometimes... I think sometimes that when people ask for things for me, you know, I do things for them. And, and that's service. You know, as a police officer. I do the right things for other people. As a police officer, we serve for justice. You know what I'm saying? But if nobody cannot understand that, then, you know what I'm saying? Fuck them. Because what's the point to understand if they cannot understand it? And that's just how life is. You know what I mean? You do good in this life, and then what do you get out of it? Nothing. Really don't.